Hi everyone, it's Saturday, which means writing challenge day. Quick channel announcement before we start. It seems like just yesterday that I announced that this channel had reached 100 subscribers. As of this recording, we are now at almost 160 subscribers. I appreciate all of you. Thank you for the support. Thank you for helping this channel grow. When I get to 200 subscribers, there will be a giveaway. So if you have friends who are interested in writing, be sure to share this channel with them. Now on to today's challenge. I saw a meme on Facebook that goes something like this. In 2015, not one of us got the answer right when we were asked, where do you see yourself five years from now? And it's so true. All of the stuff that's been happening this year is stranger than fiction. I'm a writer with a vivid imagination and I wouldn't have been able to make all this stuff up. And look, everyone keeps talking about how 2020 is this crazy year with a pandemic, murder hornets, twin hurricanes, a US presidential election that is just weird. And tragically, people still losing their lives because of the color of their skin. Is 2021 going to be much different? Who knows? I think the first few months at least will be a continuation of what this year has been like. The pandemic is not going to magically disappear on January the 1st, much as we all wanted to. And will the world ever be what it was? Or will some of the changes we have seen turn out to be permanent? That brings us to today's challenge, the coronavirus endgame. What will the world look like when the pandemic is over? Write down a few of your predictions. How will things be different where you live? What changes will happen in your own life? I did a video about this on my other channel a couple of months ago, and I'm pretty sure that most of my predictions are already wrong. But, you know, give it a try. Write down your version of the post-pandemic world. How will it be more stressful and, more important, how will it be better? Enjoy the rest of your weekend, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you on Monday for a new week of writing tips.